sent out the information about this POFIS, he said, we should write about relationships. As you know, relationships are all over everything. And that's kind of what my poems are tonight. <laughs> the first one's titled, There's a Hole in My Chest. There's a hole in my chest. It's hard to breathe around. Hard to get enough air for the ordinary things of life. Impossible to get enough air to sing, to dance, to whistle. There's a hole in my chest. It's where my heart used to be, where I used to feel pain and joy and gladness, <clears throat> where it used to be. Now there's nothing but space. There's a hole in my head, too. Thoughts leak out. Memories rush in to fill up the empty space. Babies, jobs, travel, parents and grandparents, they're all crammed in together like a box of old photos. It will be a long time before those holes heal up, where there will be anything there but emptiness. It will be a long time till I'm whole. The title of this one is Just Another Four-Letter Word. I find people understand me best when I use four-letter words. Words like need, want, must have. They somehow seem to be able to put themselves in my place, seem to know what I'm getting at. People have trouble with words like materialism, objectification, words that try to hide their meaning. They do better with plain talk, plain words. Words that come right out and say what they mean. Words like greed, lust, and hate. I have my favorite four-letter words, too. Words I hold close. Words I use sparingly, but call up when the occasion demands. I haul them out as needed. These words that tell how I really feel. Words like help and care. And when I really want to make my point, I haul out the most awesome word of all, and that word is love. And my last poem is titled, Friends with Benefits. He crosses the room as I lay reading, softly as though not to wake. Gently he lies down beside me, his body conforming to mine. As he stretches alongside, I feel his warmth penetrating my body. I pull his head to my chest, stroke his soft hair. He nuzzles my neck as I relax into his embrace. My brother knew I needed a cat. 